Good morning everybody, I'm back with one of the subscription boxes that I get. It is actually one from Rosie's Moments and it is the yarn subscription box which has got the Beatrix Potter theme. Absolutely love Beatrix Potter, absolutely love yarn, perfect combination for me. Now we've got a little bit of information, obviously it's Squirrel Nutkin is this month's theme and a little bit about Squirrel Nutkin and sort of her cheeking, his cheekiness, I said her, it's a he isn't it? And a little bit of detail about that, also regarding the yarn, if the yarn's anything like any previous yarn it's going to be fabulous quality. It is an 85% extra fine merino and a 15% nylon, so looking good there. And just a little mention from Rosie there to say thank you for supporting a small business, which I think is an important thing. I'm a small business myself, and as much as people sort of presume, you know, it's easy to sit and make things or do things at home, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. So thank you, Rosie, for this beautiful box. So let's have a look what's in. I did start to open it because I was a little concerned when the postman brought it me because it looked a little bit bad unfortunately the postal service is a little bit like that um, and it was rattling a bit so I was a bit ah so I had started to open it so I did look I got a sneaky peek a little sneaky peek of the yarn there so let's move this out of the way I think it's got I think they've tipped it up somehow um, which is very frustrating so oh trust me what can I see first we have a topic Again, as she's mentioned on here, the relationship is obviously is the nuts and the squirrels. So uh, that's a cup of tea later, I think. So I'll pop that there. And let's get on to the main event is the yarn. And that is a stunning, stunning colour. Uh, I think we've got beautiful autumnal colours there. As you know, I use a lot of mine for my smart dolls. I'm saying use. I've got a little bit of a backlog at the moment. I've not really used as much as I should have. I really do need to get a winter collection going. This would be beautiful. I mean, the hats. I mean, because the variation, um, variegation, variation, whichever way, is quite short in the yarn, which is what I look for when I'm actually making dolls, dolls clothing. They will make some stunning hats. And I think it might have to be one for every range. I think there's going to be some Cindy hats coming out of that as well. Or maybe a poncho. Lots to think about. Feels lovely and soft. Love sock yarn. Right, I'm going to pop that there. It is a four ply, as we've mentioned. And as I say, it's 85% extra fine merino and 15% nylon. And feels as soft as anything. Right, let's move on to the next thing. This is very well wrapped, which I'm pleased, considering how our postman's... Well, maybe not the postman, it's probably the further in delivery service that causes the issue. Our actual postman was very nice. Right, let's have a little look. It does mention on the information leaflet, there's a coaster in here. And it says who it's by on the back, so I'll be careful opening it. There we go. Oh, oh look at that, that's nice. Can you see how it's sort of like really sort of rustic with this... Uh, Beautiful little, I don't know, is it a transfer? Is it painted? Either way, it is very beautifully applied. Now, it is from the, it's a natural stone coaster, uh, hand decoupage, so that's answered my question, uh, by Brambleberry Fairies. Oh, that is really nice. That's got some weight to it as well. I have to be careful. I wouldn't want it sort of around where it might get knocked off. But I love all this. We well, can see how it's all natural stone. And I like that sort of, I uh, can't think of the word for it. What's the word? Oh, I don't know. It's sort of a naturally looking thing. And this is beautifully put on because sometimes when things have been applied, you can sort of see where it's lifting and that. That, you wouldn't know. That is gorgeous. So that... I don't think I want to put a cup of tea on that, to be honest. I think it looks too pretty. Might make quite a nice, I don't know, if we work some sort of little hanging. It just looks pretty, doesn't it, on the side? That's lovely. As I got some weight to it. So I'll pop that there with my topic of my wool. Let's put it over there. I'm not sure how much can be seen at the moment. I've tried to expand the area that I'm working on a little bit. We have a little tin. We have had one of these before. There's a little squirrel nutkin tin this time, but... There's something in the tin. Let's have a look what's in the tin. Oh, lots of goodies, lots and lots and lots of goodies. Right, what have we got? We have the little bands. Am I going to be really ignorant and not know what these are? I'm just trying to have a look. In the tin is stitch markers, uh, a badge, gift tag. Right, okay, these are stitch markers, are they? I don't know. 
it's not something I've ever used before so if anybody out there although Rosie will probably put a comment on for me because I know on the last one where there were some jellies in there and I was a little concerned whether they were vegetarian or not vegetarian she popped a note in yes they were vegetarian so that was good which is, is always lovely to hear so not quite sure what they are me being a dolly person I'm looking at them and thinking whether they could make dolly bracelets but that's not what I, I'm sure that's not what they're intended for but I don't know, they make quite cool little dolly bangles. I might have to look at that as well. But I'm sure Rosie will tell me what they are actually for. I'm trying to read it. And like I say, she does mention that in the tin is the stitch marker and the badge. Gift. Hmm, I don't know. Please let me know if you do. And we've got another lovely, lovely little squirrel there. Can you see him? I better take this up slowly. I cannot actually see my camera at all today because I've popped it a little bit higher as I said trying to expand the actual surface area of you can view so I hope that's not really blurry because there's nothing worse right it is a beautiful little red squirrel if you couldn't see it properly it's very gorgeous I love these stitch markers I don't use them for a lot of my miniatures because they're too big but I do like to have them about and we have an adorable little button and again I would probably pop that on one of my the personal dolls items I make, the things I keep, not the things I reproduce because that's sort of a one-off, isn't it, really? So it's a little bit more special. And we have our little squirrely nutkin on a little pin badge as well. So that's quite a little box of treats in there. It kept it all nice and neat as well. So we've got a cool little tin there. Let's have a look what we've got. We have a little notelet. Knitted with love. I know I don't knit, but... It's still gorgeous little button. I don't know, would you send that as a little card? Um, I don't know, not for me, I don't think. I think I might be pinching the button off because it's rather gorgeous. Um, but you can use it as a lovely little notebook if you've made somebody something because as I've said before, previous, it is leaning a little bit more towards our knitters here. Um, if you Perhaps if you made one of these gorgeous socks, you could add this as a gorgeous little sort of, I uh, can't think of the word, I'm terrible this morning, aren't I? A little message to say, here's your gift, basically. We have a little squirrel nutkin tag. As previously mentioned, I'm collecting these all in a tin separate because I'm wanting to sort of pop them all on some sort of artwork or frame or decoupage, I don't know yet, but I've got this in my head. What I'll actually do is a different matter or whether I actually find the time or the energy for it. So I need to keep that nice and safe and flat. But for any of you card makers out there, scrapbookers, just as a gift tag, I think it's a shame to use it just as a gift tag, but it could be. But if you are crafty and you want that sort of thing, this would be lovely to add to your collection. So I'll pop that on there. And then, as always, there is a great... Oh, that's going to fall over. In fact, let me move the box completely. There we go. Pop that in the recycling in a little while. And uh, we have a sock pattern. Now, I know, as I said, I've mentioned I don't do socks. Um, but my, fa my family and friends are slowly getting a large collection. But saying that, my mum is going to like this one. Um, if I'm seeing right on this pattern, it sort of looks like there's little owls up it. Quite a complex pattern. I don't think she'd want to do it. But I've got another friend who makes socks. Perhaps I might have to smile at her a little bit because they are rather gorgeous. You can see you've got your graph. For your actual pattern in there as I say socks are something that completely bemused me and I'm really in awe of all these people who make these gorgeous socks and I'm hoping to have quite a supply by Christmas as I keep asking people I'm gonna be most disappointed I'm gonna get up Christmas morning and there's gonna be no socks um but yes I would really really want some socks I like these I like that a lot so I think that one's going to be saved and passed along. Although my friend Julie, um, who you may have seen some of her YouTube um, programs channel, her new channel that she's just started, uh, does a huge amount of crafts. It's so unique. I can pop a little link in the bottom. She also gets this collection. So she's probably already got the pattern. So she's probably already eyeing up how to do it. But um, they are very, very nice. I do like them. So let's have a quick review of what we've got. We've got a gorgeous sock pattern gorgeous little notelet there we have a tin of loveliness and i'll just empty it out yes 
with tiny little bangles that I don't know what to do with. I'm sure they've got to be something to do with stitch marking because it says stitch marking. Or are they just there for day? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to send Rosie a message just to try and find out on that one. Obviously, the celebrity of the box. You know, I think I might start on that early. I've got a Tinkerbell outfit to make for somebody, a uh, crocheted one. But, mmm. I think I might have to start on some hats pretty soon because autumn's coming up fast and I'm always behind um, I keep saying I'm doing my Halloween stuff, my Christmas stuff and it, I'm always like months behind so I do need to get on top of this I have a topic which I'm going to have a cup of coffee in a little while so that's going to be that and then we have our little tag as we usually get let me turn that over so you can see the tin and then this beautiful rustic rustic is that the word I was looking for earlier? I don't know but we've got this lovely heavy natural looking coaster which is very very beautiful so all in all as usual a lovely collection thank you very much rosie for popping these together i will pop a link for her site if it's something you're interested in because i know she's doing beatrix potter all this year but she does have other yarns other products so please have a look i've got a little kitty um tinkling around in here i don't know if she's planning on coming up um so yeah all in all fabulous Please have a look at some of my others if you want to see other boxes that she's done because I do have a collection in my playlist. Please like, subscribe and share and hopefully you'll get to see some other little things you might be interested. I've just been looking on YouTube today as well. Apparently there's a little notification bell which is something I wasn't aware of and if you want to get notified for any of uh, my videos or anything you do have to click on that little bell so it's saying notifications i mean it might be not be something you want but if it is something you're interested in it's something i'm going to do for some of my favorite uh, bloggers bloggers uh now so i can have a little look at what people are doing because you do miss things and then you you know it's quite sad you know you're trying to support people and you miss it so again hope you enjoyed that hope to see you soon do need to get a crochet tutorial out this week so fingers crossed some, some goodies are coming if you have any ideas for that as well if there's anything you fancy me making just pop a comment in and i'll see what i can do so have a lovely day and hope to see you soon bye